Hi guys, this is my 2007 X-Charged uh, V6 Mustang. Uh, first off, I guess I'll do a little uh, pull here. Let me show off my screen kind of bright. Um, just want to get over a little hill. About 10 more seconds. A um, little bit about it, it's X-Charged, Hypo 2.0, Pulley, um, lots of other mods. I'm probably going to forget about Twenty of them in this video. I'm not gonna do it from a dead stop because it'll just I'll spin the tires the whole way through. Um, I'll probably even spin it at like 20 like this. <laughs> we'll try it. So as you can see, I have some uh, I have some traction issues, but the X Charger it really uh, knocks you back in your seat. Um, it's it's a good feeling. It's fun. Um, for anybody that's out there dreaming, uh, just has a stock Mustang, you'll get there, I promise. Uh, I started out with a cold air intake and a tuner, um, which is sitting in my attic. If anybody watches this video, even like two years after it's posted, just message me because it's been there for like two years already. I probably still have it, and I will give you a good price on it. Um, so what I've done to this car, I have a bored out throttle body. I can't remember who makes it offhand. Um, but it's bored out. Um, then I have obviously the X charger with the high poke kit running. I'm running the 2.8 pulley right now. It's not the intercooled version. Um, I figure if I'm going to spend the extra 2,000 on the intercooler, I might just say forget it and just put the V8 in that. Uh, drop a V8 in it, uh, supercharge that. Um, other things I have done are the 8.8 Mustang GT rear end um, and like GT500, I think LCAs, I don't know. I got some stuff done. Uh, I need to get more traction though. Uh, I just have stock Mustang GT bullet rims and uh, Pirelli P0 uh, tires. Um, exterior mods, like got the window louvers going, got, uh, I plastered it my rear end. Um, that guy's coming in real hot. Thing. Um, plastic dip my rear end uh, with the, the rear blackout panel. I bought those plastic ones and those magnetic ones, but they kept breaking or just, I don't know, I didn't like them, so I plastic dipped it and it's been wonderful actually. Um, and I got a couple extra cans of that because I thought it would take more than a fourth of a can and it didn't. So I bought like five cans and I really only needed less than one. Um, if anybody wants any of those, message me. Um, other things, oh, I got this. It's a touchscreen DVD CD player. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, the gauge is there for the supercharger and the Aeroforce gauge. It tells you everything. I always leave it on like the miles per hour and the. Um, I never even look at my speedometer anymore, hardly, just because I always use that. It's really kind of addicting. Um, but I use it for uh, that and the gas mileage. But I mean, I can get my boost pressure and all that. But most of the time, I'm really not too worried about it. It's. Uh, usually where it should be, same with the, I mean, I got the air to fuel right there as well. That's pretty much dead on. Um, what else do I have done? Probably lots of other things. A little shorty antenna, that was my first mod for all you people out there, a little three inch shorty antenna, rocking it. And then I've got a billet, uh, black plastic billet front grill. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but that's what I got for the front grill. Um, Sorry, it's just filming the speedometer this whole time while I've been talking, if anybody's even made it this far. Um, I think I've got a couple other things. I removed my door dean stripes. Those things are, I don't know, if they're in your taste, then that's cool, but I just took a blow dryer to them and ripped them off. Um, <clears throat> make sure you wax it if you do that, too. Um, what else? I guess it's got about a hundred and 14,000 on the super on the uh, car on the supercharger. I don't know, probably I think around like 70,000 or so, but I really don't know because somebody owned it before me. And I guess I go by what they say, but you never know. Um, yeah, if if anybody's out there looking for an X charger, message me, I can tell you all about it. My experiences, I've had no problems whatsoever with it, um, other than the fact. The stock rear end is pretty much garbage. Uh, yours might not have went out, but the second you do something to your car, it's probably gonna go out. 
just buy an 8.8. .8. Don't rebuild it. Don't do any of that nonsense unless you got warranty on it. But if you're in a an 05 to 09 like me, you probably don't have a warranty anymore. Um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, any questions? Oh, it's tuned by Bama Tunes, too. I got to throw them credit. It's just a canned tune that I'm running, and I get pretty crazy power. Um, it's a safe tune, though. That's that's the other key thing. Is I'm running a safe tune. Nothing uh, too crazy, because I don't want anything to happen. Um, I mean, I could get more power, but why when I'm really happy with where I'm at? And I use it as a daily driver. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, shout out to anybody that made it this far. Uh, ask me any questions or if you guys want to see any other videos, just you know, let me know and I'll try to make what I can. Because um, I know I had trouble finding kind of the right videos that I personally wanted to see, like zero to 60 times and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's easily under five seconds, I can say that much, but I don't know what, exactly what it is. And if I had better traction, it, you know, that changed it too. Um, cool, thanks for watching, guys.